Don't pick your skin, pick bandage. Hey guys, my name is Daisy, and today I'm going to be telling you some of the skincare and bath products I have been using that are not banish related. So I know you guys are probably sick of me talking about banish products. And while I do use Banish products, I also like to just try a lot of other products because it's hard for me to be loyal to skincare products or just to products in general. I love trying out a bunch of different products and there's always new things on the market. So here we go. Don't mind the white hair. I sprayed too much dry shampoo. One of the cleansers I have been using so far, and I saw this on Christian Dominique's Instagram, is the Obagi Zio Medical Foma Cleanse face cleanser. This face cleanser, my friend did a facial treatment and she used this cleanser and I was like, wow, this cleanser smells really good. It's really light. It does foam and it does have sulfates in it. So if you're not looking for something to dry you out, I wouldn't recommend this. But I just love the smell of it. It smells very light, fresh, very aqua-y. And I know it sounds kind of like stupid to buy a cleanser based on how it smells, but I don't know, for me, like I will pay double the price if a cleanser smells really good. And it foams well, it's just, it's just a really simple basic cleanser um, that smells pretty good. So I got this one, the Foma Cleanse. I think these are like $40. So it is kind of pricey, so it's not like it's gonna change your skin out of this world. So if $40 is something expensive for you, then I wouldn't recommend it. But I don't know if I'll repurchase it, but, it, but I do like the cleanser. I also got Look how gross this is. This is the ZO Skin Health um, by Obagi, and it is the O Effects Exfoliating Formula. Um, and it's basically a scrub, but it doesn't have cleansing properties in it, so you have to use it after you use the cleanser. So you do this first, and then you do this. I just keep this in the shower, and what I will do is I will use it underneath my jawline, where sometimes I am prone to breaking out, and also my chest area, because I do get some like little acne here and there on my chest area and I think it's because I work out so much. But I love the smell. The smell smells like um, like an aqua salt kind of and kind of smells like, it reminds me of the Blue Lagoon in Iceland. Like it literally smells like the Blue Lagoon. I don't know if you can tell. There you go. It's just very, um, has some kind of grains in there but it's just nice. I feel like the grains are pretty small. They're way smaller than the apricot scrub by St. Ives. I don't know how much this is either. I think it's probably 30 or 40. I'll have it listed here. So again, it is expensive, so I wouldn't like recommend it if you know, you're on a budget, but it's pretty nice and it is what I've been using so far as a face scrub. The next thing I have been loving. So right now I have been loving minty scents. I've been loving like more masculine scents. I'm not a huge fan of like feminine scents out there, like feminine body scrubs they have. Like I really don't want to smell like an oatmeal cookie or pistachios or pumpkin pie. Like I want to smell clean, I want to smell fresh, I want to smell like I got out of the shower. And I feel like a lot of products marketed towards women smell just really cloying and like oatmeal cookie like and I don't want to smell like that and that's why I banish our scents are like very natural but like our elixir smells like peppermint and eucalyptus and I wanted a body wash that smelled like the um, vitamin C beauty elixir from banish and I found it you guys this is the CO Bigelow rosemary mint body cleanser and it smells exactly like the banish beauty elixir so it smells like peppermint, it smells like eucalyptus, and I love using this, especially in the morning or after a really hard workout, you can kind of use it and uh, just clean your body and you feel so refreshed and like ready to go. This is expensive, um, I think it was $20 or $18, I don't remember the exact price, but I do wish that a brand would carry like a, what is it, Dove or whatever, they would make more of a minty kind of body wash. And I do use Irish Spring body wash, like the big ones. Um, I do use a lot of men scented body washes because I, I honestly like the scent better. <laughs> Speaking of scents and body washes, I have been, this is my favorite. This is the Kisna Hair and Body Wash by The Body Shop. And the reason why I love this product is it's a three-in-one cleanser, shampoo, and 
skin conditioner. So I use this on my face, I use it in my hair, and I also use it as a body wash. So it's super great for traveling or it's just a really great three-in-one kind of product. And I don't understand why you need to use like a separate face wash from a body wash from a shampoo. I feel like it's a very like kind of marketing thing people do just to like get more products in their line. But this, I love the scent of this. I think this is actually like a guy scent, but I don't really care because I like guy scents. It smells so good. It smells like a really light cologne. It smells like, oh, what was that fragrance called? Um, there was a fragrance I had, it was in a tear shaped bottle. Oh, She by Alfred Sung. Yes, that fragrance, She by Alfred Sun. That was one of my favorite fragrances in high school and this smells exactly like that and I'm super good at remembering fragrances. So very watery, a little masculine, a little bit like, tiny bit like cologne, but it's really great and I think it's a pretty good shampoo. Um, shampoo, face wash, body wash. Then for a face scrub, I was watching Lily Galici's like, video and she says this was her favorite face scrub. So I went out and bought it and it's pretty good. I will say it's pretty good. I will repurchase it, but it's not like, oh my God, out of this world amazing. This is the Biore Pore Unclogging Scrub. It has 2% salicylic acid. It foams pretty well. The only complaint I have is I don't like their microbeads. I feel like the microbeads are too large. It doesn't really do anything. It doesn't really exfoliate. It's just kind of there. I don't know if you can tell from the screen the microbead size, but the microbeads are kind of large, I will just say. So I feel like it's really not inappropriate, but it's not necessary to have microbeads in this product. Whereas for this scrub, I feel like the, the scrubbing particles are so fine, it actually does something to your skin. This is nice, it foams, it has salicylic acid, it's pretty affordable. So I would recommend it if you're just looking for a basic face scrub, but it's not like oh my god, it changed my life kind of thing. And then also from Biore, I got the Biore Baking Soda Cleansing Scrub. And I've really been into powders that uh, can be used as face wash things. So I really like the Dermalogica Exfoliant. I've used that and I've repurchased it a few times. But I also really like, this so I'm gonna get into the Tatcha Rice Powder. And this is one of my favorite, favorite face washes because I like things, again, I don't like it when they have sulfates, even though a lot of the products I've mentioned do have sulfates. But I sometimes just want something to clean my skin without stripping it away from the oils. And I have noticed my skin has been extremely dry the past couple of years. I think just you know, living in Southern California and now I'm getting into my later 20s, my skin is no longer as acneic, like prone to acne as before, but then again, um, because it's not as oily as before, it's also more dry, so I have to take care of it better. And this is a really, really good powder. I guess I'm like straying off topic. So because this is a good powder, it's just like a powder that kind of foams slightly. It's very, very fine, so it does feel like an exfoliating, and it does feel like you're getting all out all the like you know dirt and oil from your face by naturally using rice powder to exfoliate. So I thought this was gonna be something similar, and I was like, oh, it's so much cheaper. So it is the Biore. Um, baking soda cleanser and the ingredients of sodium bicarbonate, sodium cocolysinate, citric acid. Okay, so I will just tell you from facts, it is not very uh, good quality of ingredients. You know what it reminds me of? So I use this, it's just basically a powder. It reminds me of the laundry detergent you use, that's powder basically. Like it literally feels like laundry detergent powder and it also smells like chlorine, which is really funny. So this baking soda cleansing scrub smells like chlorine. It foams really well, but it's almost a little bit too soapy for my taste. I wish it had more scrubbing action versus soapy action because I don't want to feel like I'm using like a bunch of soap on my face. I want to feel like I'm scrubbing my skin. So I probably will not repurchase this. And it's really hard to like, the container is just a little full here. It's really hard to uh, make sure you have the right amount coming out because it just like plops all over your hand. Then the next thing is I got some, the, the Tatcha like sample kit. Um, and I do like Tatcha. I love their rice enzyme powder. Um, and I love it in this little container because I can travel with it. I don't need to worry about TSA, but it's basically just this, oh, kind of falling. 
tell. It's basically like just really, really fine milk powder. You add a little bit of water and then you use it to scrub your face and it does, it, it does I feel like scrub like what you need it to scrub. It doesn't foam too bad. Um, it's just really, really great product. So I love this. And I would buy it in the larger size. I, they have a larger size of this, but I feel like it's just kind of cumbersome to have such a big like container of powder <laughs> on your um, vanity. So I like it in the smaller size. Um, I will say Tatcha does an amazing, amazing job with the packaging of their products. This is the Tatcha Pure One Soap Camilla Cleansing Oil, and I haven't had a chance to use this, but everybody just everybody loves this product. And again, their their packaging is so on point. I mean, look how pretty this looks, like just sitting on your vanity. It looks very, very nice. Um, so I kind of don't really want to throw this away once I'm done using it. And then I got the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And just look how beautiful this bottle is. It's this ombre purple product. And the mist is super fine. I will say that the mist on here is honestly better than the Beauty Elixir from Banish's Mist. Um, but I actually prefer the Banish Beauty Elixir, not because I am the owner of the company, but because I like I like things that are minty and I like how Banish Beauty Elixir have like vitamin C and aloe vera and all those really great ingredients, but I do like the mist of this better. It's very, very fine. So maybe we should invest in a bottle similar to this. But it's just it's just such pretty packaging Tatcha products. And then for Tatcha, I got in their kit, this is the water cream from Tatcha. And it's just in this green little bottle, the water cream. And I will be honest, I don't really like this product that much. It's very, very like light and it does absorb into the skin, but it's not, I don't know, I don't really find any kind of beneficial use to this. Like I use it. And I don't really feel anything other than the fact that the texture is nice. It does have a nice light smell, but I much prefer the Laneige cream. So another product I really like is the Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream. One of the reasons why I love this product is the scent. It smells very watery and aquatic and fresh, which I love. Oh, the scent. Okay, so when I went to Europe this summer, I slathered this all over my face and this is the scent that I remember because I slathered this but I like this I feel like this product is a lot more um, thick in consistency than the water cream I feel like it does do a better job trapping in moisture and hydrating the skin so if you were to buy the Laneige cream or water cream I would definitely choose this one However, I don't like the Laneige cleansers at all. They are super drying and I feel like it's stripping everything away from my face. Okay, so I just have about three more products to go. I have no idea how long this video is gonna be, but I am obsessed with this sunscreen. It is the Body Shop SPF 30 Vitamin C Sunscreen. And you guys know I love me some vitamin C. That's the main ingredient in our Banish Oil and Elixirs. And now we have the vitamin C cream. So that is the giveaway for this video. We're giving away five vitamin C creams. So in the description bar below, type in five of your Holy Grail skincare items that you recommend because I definitely want to try out all the products that I can. So I'll definitely check out some of them. So tell me your five favorite skincare items. But this is really great moisturizer. I find that a lot of moisturizers with SPF just leave this ridiculous white cast and it makes me look like a ghost. This one doesn't and I find that it kind of stings your face a little bit, which I actually like. It kind of does go on like a thick. What's the point of me like rubbing it in my arm when you can't even see it? So. It does rub into the skin nice. It doesn't leave a super white cast. It absorbs pretty well. And um, it does smell 
pretty nice. It smells like oranges. Like it smells like um those emergency orange like things that you suck on with like 100% vitamin C. It smells like that. So I love the Body Shop SPF products, and I recommend this if you're looking for a good everyday SPF. This is an SPF 30. And then the last product I have is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream, and I have it in medium. And this is SPF 50, and I love this because it doesn't give you a white cast. I feel like it does a good enough job covering your blemishes and it's just one of those things you can throw in your bag and if you forget to wear makeup you can just put it on your skin and it looks good. It also gives like a really nice dewy finish and it's just great. I always repurchase this. I've repurchased this four times but I put this in my purse. It's my everyday makeup bag. So I have a mascara, I have an eyebrow pencil and I have the CC cream which is really great. Can just throw this in a bracelet or a purse and if you're just off to run and get some coffee or go to the gym and you forget to use some SPF you can just slather this on your face and you're good to go so I love that that is it those are my like favorite skincare items that are non vanish skincare and body items that I have been using and again for the giveaway write down five of your favorite products below and don't forget we upload every Monday Wednesdays and Fridays thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys again next week bye